people from various walks of uh, life in chennai like students professionals and uh, completely non science related people have come to tdk music academy here for the science of the sabha event had four speakers here come from various institutes uh, in the country aims to promote science and make it more accessible to the public so today also happens to be the international day for women and girls in science we also have an exhibition here which shows women researchers from different parts of the country one of the people part of life science gave a talk to these uh, young girls last year at the same uh, at the 11th february event that we had and uh, one of the first things she asked the kids was like can you name a woman scientist um, so then they come up with marie curie or you know and and then they laugh that that's it can you name an indian woman scientist and you know no one seems to know any women face challenges from much earlier than we think I did this test uh, since Davis College. My alma mater. I went as a chief guest for something, okay. and I made everybody, so the boys stand and the girls stand separately. I asked the boys, okay, if you think that basically you may not know what you want to do in life, but uh, you know you'll deal with whatever issues. Have you got the confidence that you will deal with any issues that come, and you'll manage to do what you want? If you feel that confidence, stand. And if you feel well, there may be unspecified constraints. Who knows if I'll ever get to do what I want to do? You know, if you are imbued with sort of doubt about the future, then sit. So the guys remain standing. most of the girls sat girls yeah. are raised with the idea that they're going to have to compromise and that is sort of self fulfilling the number of women in engineering has been going up steadily uh, but i don't think we are still representative of the population and i don't know why that that should be I really think that uh, if there is societal pressures that inhibit women from taking up engineering um, even such as this will hopefully address that certainly it can be tried i don't think there's any harm in trying that right. i'm not sure whether it will be very effective is because they don't have too many chance there is plenty of opportunity certainly right. okay. so it is not that i think how uh, more sort of a cultural thing yeah if i has an excellent uh, child care center to which my, both my children went they're old now uh, it really changes the ability of the, and gives gives a woman scientist flexibility in old days it would be that if you had a high level faculty meeting going on and a woman said excuse me i have to leave i have to pick up my child it was a little sort of subtle thing of oh she's not being professional you know now the men are doing it because sometimes the men are the ones on campus and the guys say oh i have to go at 6 to pick up my baby and so now it's becoming a completely normal thing to do which it should be well it's just funny about how things work i guess the best thing to look at the possibilities what can happen ideally we should be able to uh, look at the interaction between cells and try to predict how humans would behave and by looking at the way humans should behave you should be able to predict how society should behave then you put societies together you should be able to predict I have no idea how science works, um, but I think uh, it sort of gave me different perspectives. I could relate them to my real life scenarios. Uh, for instance, I enjoy philosophy, so the knots and the the, the first talk on perspectives. Uh, I think all these were quite enlightening. So. So it gets more boring when you stop it, right? <laughs> So where am I going to get an opportunity to play a clip from this movie at the cinema? <laughs> Can you drown in quicksand? Uh, what makes bulletproof vests? And what makes you smart? Is it the number of neurons or is it the number of connections in your brain? These were some of the really interesting questions that were answered here, and it looks like there's been a really good response today. That's Anjali Venugopalan signing off with Arvind Prasanna for ACJ Newsline.